So we have a pretty specific question here about amyloidosis. So how often does amyloidosis occur in myeloma patients and does it change the treatment if they do have amyloidosis and myeloma? Excellent question again. So I would like to clarify that amyloid is a specific kind of different kind of abnormal protein that can be produced by plasma cells. All of us have these proteins that are the, these uh, proteins that are developed as very or, or produced in the body as very small molecules, and then they fold upon themselves to uh, make different building blocks for the body. If that folding process is misfolded or abnormal, these amyloid fibrils can develop and they can deposit anywhere in the body. And wherever they depo deposit, they cause their symptoms. Now, amyloid can be present in two different ways. Either amyloid is the primary problem and is being produced by the plasma cells, or sometimes patients who have multiple myeloma and are on treatment for multiple myeloma can either start developing some amyloid protein or um, after, or, or they can have amyloid deposited in certain organ like heart, like kidneys, like the gut, et cetera. The occurrence of amyloid in a myeloma patient, it's not a common phenomenon. I would say somewhere in the vicinity of only 10 to 15% cases that we know of. Maybe it is present in others that we don't pick up. But once even we find out uh, that amyloid is present in a case with multiple myeloma, if for example, amyloid is present in the heart, if we are using any drugs that may have some heart-related side effects, we may need to adjust doses. If amyloid is present in the kidneys, if we are using some drugs that have kidney-related implications, we may need to adjust some doses, etc. Broadly, the treatment stays the same, but there is higher risk to kidneys, higher risk to heart, etc. in um, amyloid patients or patients who develop amyloid. So we have to take that into account. Sometimes choice of treatment changes, sometimes dose of treatment changes, sometimes impact on certain organs change, Broadly, for a myeloma patient who develops amyloid, the treatment can stay very similar to what would have happened even if amyloid was not present, except some small tweaks.